So one of the first things you'll want, and this is no matter what climate you're going to, be it California Challenge, Cal Adventure, or Alaska, you're gonna want a nice wool hat, something that fits snugly over your head and covers your ears and is nice and warm. You're also gonna to wanna to bring with you a sun hat, just a nice hat with a visor on top to keep the sun off your face and your nose. You want a pair of athletic sunglasses that wrap around and cover the bottom of the eye so you don't get sun in coming from the bottom. Good idea, DMAC. You're also going to want to bring a nice warm fleece jacket. Your fleece jacket should fit snugly and warmly all around you. This is what's going to keep you warm at night. For those days when there might be a little drizzle or a lot of drizzle, you're going to want a nice rain jacket, something that's nylon or Gore-Tex. Um, please make sure it is waterproof not water resistant. Waterproof is a much better coating and will keep you drier longer. Next up, we're gonna skip the cotton talk because you all know what cotton is, but we're gonna talk about the synthetic base layers. These are t-shirts or other layers you're gonna have close to your skin, by your skin, they're gonna keep you warm. These need to be products such as polyester, uh, nylon, synthetics, it has to have no cotton. Please make sure there is no cotton in this but you want some nice, light, short sleeve base layers. And also, some long sleeve base layers as well. Again, this is a non-cotton. Most important, in a Ziploc that is completely separate from everything, a clean t-shirt, zipped up so it doesn't absorb any other smells, and it stays nice and clean for that night when we go into town and you need to look good. The first thing you're gonna need in your layers is you're gonna need some long underwear. Now these again are gonna be non-cotton. Next up, those nylon shorts. Make sure these shorts are a little bit short for the guys. You want them above your knee because if they're the saggy below the knee kind, you're gonna snag and rip your favorite pair. And for girls, we don't want anything too short. This is about the appropriate length, as short as we wanna get, because anything shorter than this is not gonna be fun for mountain biking or rock climbing. Next, you're gonna need some nylon pants for hiking and backpacking. Now these pants are pretty fun because you can actually get them with a convertible and can come off into another pair of shorts for you. Lastly, what matches the top that you have, the rain jacket, the rain pants. Once again, it needs to be a nylon or Gore-Tex pants that is waterproof. Once again, not water resistant, but waterproof and treated with a water repellent coating. This will keep you dry and very happy. The most important piece of gear you're gonna have for your entire summer with Adventure Treks is gear for your feet. One of the most important pieces of that is your hiking boot. This is a pair of boots that you've broken in, you've worn for 50 to 100 miles, walking around your house, hopefully walking on some trails. The boots need to be ankle high, so support your ankle as you're hiking. They need to have a waterproof coating if they're not a waterproof material. Uh, your feet should be well broken into these for those hikes, as well as your boots should be well broken into your feet. Also, for every day, Going around camp and van rides, you're going to want to bring some lightweight sneakers. A great thing to have is the water shoe. This is a shoe that has a heel strap. It can be a second pair of tennis shoes, but they also make great athletic type sandals. Adidas makes some, Chaco, Teva. These are sandals that are adjustable and will get very snug on your feet and has that heel strap to make sure they're there when you go into the water and are swimming. Keep your feet warm and dry, you're going to want to pack a few pairs of wool socks. Again, these are not cotton, you want to pack wool and a non-cotton sock. So the first thing you're going to want to bring is definitely a pair of gloves. It doesn't matter if you're going to Alaska or Utah, you're still going to want these babies because sometimes it does get cold. Water bottles. You're gonna want at least three one liter water bottles. This is a Nalgene type, which is a polycarbonate, a harder water bottle that says won't break. This is a stainless steel version made by SIG. There are a few other manufacturers, Clean Canteen, and a few others among a few. Uh, at least 
32 ounces for each one, and you can have two water bottles and a hydration bladder or a camelback if you choose, but please, three liters of water. You're also gonna wanna bring a headlamp or a flashlight, something to help you see at night because it does get dark in the wilderness. A camp chair. This is not one of those chairs that you see people lounging in and reclining. This is just a nice, easy, foldable, packable camp chair that comes really small, but provides endless hours of comfort. All right, toiletries. You might wanna pack your, your toiletries in just a nice, clear plastic bag. Keep them nice and safe, away from everything else. You need your toothbrush, toothpaste. Girls, this is about all you need, okay? And then for those of you who do want to take a camera, please bring a camera case, as this is very important. If your camera's just floating around in your duffel, it's going to get bruised and broken. But if it's in a nice case, it's going to have a little padding to protect it, as well as you'll probably have a place to put extra batteries, extra memory cards. One question we get a lot in the office is, can I bring my pillow? The problem with pillows is that they're big and kind of awkward, and once they get wet, you're not going to want to use it anyways, and they never dry. Other options that we recommend are, if you have a backcountry pillow that's designed for backpacking, bring it along, that's great, but you do not need to buy one. You can also get a stuff sack and fill it with soft clothing and use that, or Simply wrap up a jacket and use that all throughout the summer. Here are three different types of bags you'll use at Adventure Treks. The first is your duffel bag. This bag should be big enough to hold all of your belongings. It'd be great if it did not have wheels or wasn't a suitcase or hard luggage. The second type is your day pack. This bag often is just a book bag that you might have for school already that can kind of hold some essentials you need for every day. The third type is a backpack. What we mean by backpack is something that is used for backcountry travel and has a hip belt and is used for backpacking. If you have any questions about these, please give us a call at the office. We'd be happy to work through all the details. some ways to keep your duffel organized and not become a big black hole. The first way some people use are using stuff sacks, which are nylon bags that can be different colors to be able to tell what's in each bag. A second way is you can buy some giant Ziploc bags and label them with what is inside. The last tip is to bring a laundry bag or some way to distinguish between what's dirty and clean throughout your adventure. <laughs> 